most of them come from. And they're French. Huh? They're French. Did you ever heard like the name of Roxanne Road? So, hey, Alexa for Ben News, and I'm in Boston right now at the airport because today me and Lincoln J we are looking deeper into the illegal immigration business that is happening all across USA so we are in Boston because one of my contacts in Plattsburgh told me that some of his colleague was going all the way down to Boston to pick up some migrant to bring them to Plattsburgh where they would cross into Roxham Road. For the people who don't know what is Roxham Road, it's a small road about 50 kilometer south to Montreal where people can cross illegally. This border is between two legal borders, but as you know, with the third safe country agreement with the irregular border entry, that agreement doesn't apply. So the people who did already seek asylum in US can seek again asylum in Canada and they would not be turned back. Right now in USA, there is a big business to bring immigrants up to the border for them to cross illegally. So we are going to watch here in the airport. We are undercover and we will ask some questions that you want to hear and we will go afterwards at the bus station and the train station to look what is happening here in Boston with the illegal immigration through Canada. Do you have a lot of people who ask that no, to no, you? No, no, not that much. No, not, no, but not do that, that, that happen sometimes? Sometimes that happens, but not really. So we are currently at the airport. We don't know what to expect since uh, we did receive a warning for a big winter storm coming into this many states. So if you can see right now, most of the flight is canceled. It's why the airport is quiet at this moment. And I think we will expect the same at the bus and the train station, but we will look into it. But I do have people come in and ask to go to Canada, and I said, bus station. Do you have like people who say, I'm a refugee, I want to go to Canada? No, no one ever sits and goes, I'm a refugee. They just sit there, they ask me if they, they want yeah. to go to Canada, and I just send them to the bus station. Did you ever heard like the name of Roxanne Road? No? Okay. You know, if you have like some taxi driver who are coming here sometime to bring them up to Plattsburgh? No. No. You didn't see any? No. Do you have some who come to you and ask for going to Canada? Typically, they'll go to Plattsburgh. Yeah? yeah. Do you have a lot? You know, fair share, you know, a couple of times a week. So you don't have like straight bus who go into Canada? We do. It leaves at 1 o'clock every day and at 11.50 at night. Okay, but they want to go to Plattsburgh, not Canada. Typically, it's to Plattsburgh, yeah. Do you know why? Uh, assuming somebody picks them up and takes them over. Okay. Do, do you heard like often like Roxham Road? Roxham Road? No. No? You don't have like immigrant that ask like, I'm a refugee, I want to go no. to Plattsburgh or no. Canada? No. Do you know where most of them come from? And they're French speaking. Huh? They're French speaking. Well, French speaking, so probably 80. We are heading to New York City. We did wrap up Boston story, but we have the information that we wanted. Unfortunately, uh, the weather was not on our side. Um, most of the flight and bus were canceled, so we were not capable to talk with migrants. At least we get information from employees who work at the airport and the bus station. Now, we are going to New York because we know that it's where all the action is happening. It's where the migrant 
is getting free bus ticket paid by taxpayer money that the mayor of New York is giving to them to go to Canada. Uh, those who are seeking to go somewhere else, not we're pushing or forcing, if they're seeking to go somewhere else, we are helping in the reticketing process. If you want to help to offset our travel expense, it seems we needed to rent an economic car and cheap hotel room and always on the go for our expense, you can consider it to chip in generously what you can, every dollar count to stop trafficking to Canada.com. And in the same time, don't forget to sign our petition, but every dollar you can do, consider it to chip in and help us with our journalism. You can see what is happening in Boston, but right now I'm in New York, but this is for our next report. So if you want to help for our travel all around to find out what is happening with the business behind the illegal immigration in Canada, you can do so at our website, StopTraffickingToCanada.com. On this website, please chip in what you can so we can continue to report on it and you can sign the petition and send a message to Eric Adams, the mayor of New York.